Everyone and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're going to be checking out a really cool moving wooden model from our friends over at U Gears. And if you remember the last time we checked out one of these moving models, you'll remember the Wolf One handgun with its really awesome action. But this one's going to be a little bit different. With all of its unique parts and of course moving gears, I think we're going to have a lot more cut out for us in terms of getting everything to work correctly. Are my concerns correct? Well, let's check it out together on the workbench. Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have our U-Gears Tram on Wheels. And this build looks a lot bigger than that Wolf 1 handgun that we built a few months ago. Let's take a look at the back. On the back, we get a look at some other models in the series, and some of these look really awesome. And then, just in the lower left-hand corner, we get a look at our build, followed by a QR code, which we can scan to get a quick little video about our build. And if we look here at the bottom, we can see that this contains 154 parts. That is a lot of sanding. Let's go ahead and get everything out. Rip the box by accident. Cool. Look at this wood. Very neat. And there's our instructions. Anything inside of here? Nope. All right. Let's uh, get the plastic off here. Cool. We have our instructions, and we have all of our wood. It looks like we have four sheets of wood here. That's a lot of parts. All right, Groovers, let's get our mouse pad here out of the way, because I know we have some sanding to do, and let's get building. And there you have it, all of our parts needed for our first page. Now one thing we have to do before going any further is to make sure that all of our parts are nice and waxed. And what I'm going to use to make sure that I do that properly is an IKEA tea light that I just broke in half. That little edge there will come in handy when I'm trying to get these gears. So let's go ahead and just wax these up really nice, making sure they got tons of wax in there. You can see why I moved my mouse pad away. This would have been a mess. There we go. Now with our gears nice and waxed, we're gonna do the same thing with our toothpicks. And I'm gonna use some of that wax that fell off the candle already. And I'm just gonna just bathe that in that. There we go. Make sure it's nice and slick. Very good. Ah, it's gonna get all over my, see, this is why this stuff is good because it's almost like a paste when it gets a little heated up. Good thing I'm wearing gloves too. I mean, this would be a nightmare with hands. Now these up here are parts number two and these are our part number three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our gears here and we're gonna insert into here. Wiggle her around a little bit there, wiggle her around, push her in, ah, boom. There we go. Super waxy, super waxy, but good. Now we're gonna take that toothpick that we previously waxed, shove her right through the middle. May have to, this is a little step, eh? Hmm. There we go. Try to make that as even as possible. That looks really nice. All right. Okay, now we gotta build two of these, so let's go do that. 
there we go, our two gears. Now we need more parts. And there we go, all of our parts needed for the second page. Now, a lot of this becomes pretty repetitive after a little bit, so I'm gonna fast forward through a lot of it, but if you have any questions, just make sure you leave a comment down below and I'll go into more detail for you. Now, just like before, we wanna wax up these gears a little bit because we're gonna be moving them around.
And there we go. We have a lot of our parts built and it's time to start assembling some of our stuff together. So this is on page 12 here. And the first thing we're gonna do is grab our two sides here like this and grab one of the original gears that we made and put it into this little hole here, just like that. Now we're gonna carefully do the same thing to the other side. There we go. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take part 34 here and we're gonna insert it on both sides. All right, that's our first gear in place. Now we need to do the same thing with the other side here, placing our gear along that little area there, that little small one. Excellent. Same thing as last time. We're going to insert this little part here. I recommend lifting it up off the table to do this part. You don't want to accidentally smash that toothpick inside and have to put another one through. That looks pretty good. Now we can go ahead and put our other part here that looks just like this. This was a trickier one to form. And we're going to place this guy right at the bottom here. If I can get him in the same vicinity though, I should be able to finesse it. I cannot grip the piece I need to grip. I think that's in, that looks pretty good. Now we can add our top cogs in here, which are a little bit bigger. Let's do the small one first and then go the other side. There we go, fit it in. Okay, now if everything has been done right up to this point, you have all of your small gears on this side and all of your bigger ones here on the other side. That's very important because now this part here should give you the indication of everything is lined up correctly. Let's get our part here, making sure that the bigger cog is where all the smaller ones here are. We're gonna insert it right there. I'm gonna try to get a little closer. All right, now I'm right on the money here. Boom. Sweet, looking really good. Everything's moving pretty well, but now we're gonna need more parts. looking really sharp but now we're going to need more parts and what looks like to be rubber bands okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to use this gear that we made earlier this very special gear here and we're going to put our rubber bands right through here just like so Then we're going to feed it through either side. So one right here and the other right here. The trick is to pull them tight just enough so they go into those little grooves. There we go. Okay, now we're going to put everything together here at the top. First things first, we're going to insert this piece right inside here. All right, we're gonna push this just a little bit, but not too much. We don't wanna have a little bit of movement. We want everything to line up at the end. Okay, now for the most difficult part, we're gonna place in our engine. That's right, the engine is going in. Looking pretty good there now. Let's place our front ends on, making sure that we have that little piece here going towards the middle. Cool, that's that one side on there. That's a little bit trickier to put on than I thought it would be. Um, not putting a whole lot of stress right here. I'm still kind of keeping that loose. Let's go ahead and put this last piece on over here on this side. There we go, a really tight 
fit, if you ask me. I hope everything is going to line up here at the end. I might have to go back and push some things around inside, but let's continue on here. We're going to attach our little overhead piece here. I really don't want to force too much of this. There we go. And now this is going to sit in these top two little holes here. Let's see if we can get them in. There's one. Push it all the way over. There we go. Excellent. And look, everything moves. That's really neat too. I mean, that's what we want. We don't want it to not move. That would be that would be bad. But that looks really cool. I think now that this is all together, we're gonna need more parts. Okay, everything seems to be moving still, so I think we're doing pretty good. Let's get some more parts. And that is looking really awesome. I mean, look at everything here. Now we need to build the track. So I'm gonna put our tram just over here and get some more parts. And there we have it. All of our parts needed to build our track on page 24. Now, much like we did before, we're gonna have to wax all of this track right here to make sure everything runs smoothly. So let's get started. Okay, yeah, tons of wax, but we did a good job. Now we gotta combine everything together. Okay, that is our very long track, but now we need to build some supports and that's gonna be more parts. Just gonna place these bits in here without breaking our pieces hopefully that's the that's the key here I really don't want to accidentally break or put too much stress on the stick here so 
the same time, I wanted good connections. So, all right, so both of our pieces here move independently. And if I just do this here, you can kind of see how everything works. Um, the more I do this, the more smoother, sorry. The more I do this, the more smoother it will become. That's a fully folded in track and that's fully extended. Okay, now let's put everything together here with our track and see how it works. This might be too big for my camera, so we'll try my best here to see everything. Here is our track. That goes here. Like that. Okay. Other side. Try to do the same thing in the corner here with our build. Make sure it's nice and there we go. All right. That is everything fully together. Now, if I can just put this slightly like that, maybe? Let's see, maybe this way? And I guess probably my best angle for everything. Now we need to grab our tram. I wanna make sure I get a lot of turns in here. So I'm gonna keep turning this for a few seconds. I'm gonna try to get at least three full rotations. Okay, now that I have our three rotations here, all I have to do is place this down. And if everything works correctly and everything's lined up, it should move as soon as I click this switch. All right, here we go, group builders. Whoa, oh no. Uh, how about a little bit of a suggestion? Whoa. Whoa, look at her go. Oh no. I've waxed the entire track and I've put a ton of wax on our tram here. Now, this tram is really cool when it's built. I mean, all the gears inside move pretty well, and I've made sure, again, that I put a ton of wax on the inside so they move really nice and slick, too. Now, in order for us to be able to get this to work, we have to pull this back like that. That lifts the gear right here, which is our motor, and then all we have to do is just wind it up. That little click that you're hearing is the gear hitting off of that little panel right there. I'm trying to see if you can see it. It should be able to run for the entire track. I'm gonna stop there. You don't wanna wind it too much because remember, it's just a toothpick right there and that will, that will snap with too much tension. Okay, so first test, let's see if it can move freely back and forth without the motor. So I'm gonna place it right here and I'm gonna lift up our back here. Oh yeah, there we go, awesome. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, we made it. Okay, so I'm going to put down that side here. And then I'm going to lift up this side. Oh, yeah, we're making it. We're making it. <laughs> Great. Okay, so now we know that it works. Now what we're going to do is turn on the motor, which is the more difficult part. We push this little weaver lever here. Sorry, we push this little lever here. That engages the motor. You can see that little gear went down and when I let go it should work by itself let's oh make sure it's on track yep all right here we go whoa <laughs> now again I can lift it up here and I can just turn it around and I can again engage the little drive there let's see if it makes it to the other side I may not have enough power Yep, there's the rest of the power, but if I lift it up, now if I disengage it though, it should go the rest of the way. That is awesome. And there we go, we have our tram. Okay, the moment of truth, track and tram. Put these together very carefully, all right. Here comes the tilt. Nice and smooth, back the other way. <laughs> okay, right on. That's very smooth. And if you want yours at home to be like this, there are a few things you're gonna wanna know. Let's talk about those things in construction.
For my first point, I want to talk about wax, and that's very important for these U-Gears models and for this tram in particular. You want to use a good wax that's not too sticky that will allow everything to move smoothly. My personal recommendation is to run out to Ikea and grab a bag of tea lights. The wax in there is absolutely perfect for these models, and if you put a lot on, you'll find that everything runs really smoothly. For my second point, I want to talk about all the toothpicks on this model. There's quite a few of them on here, and when you're putting them into place, you might have a lot of tension issues. Make sure you take your time when dealing with any of the toothpicks. Breaking them is a real pain in the butt to deal with. And that being said, there's a few of them that are going to break just by use, and that's the ones here along the top. That's the one for the switch, one for the motor, and the one for the back switch here as well. These are all easily replaced, but it's a good thing to keep in mind that you will have a couple of these that will wear out over time. For my third and final point, I want to talk about a sound we're about to hear. That is a sweet sound to any U-Gears builder. That is the sound of the speed regulator in the center bouncing off of the two big gears there. Now what's really important about that movement is it needs to be smooth. And if it's not smooth on your build, then you're gonna have your tram getting hung up on its track. I recommend putting a ton of wax on those two little toothpicks. And if everything is cut to size correctly, you'll find that it works really well. And with that being said, Groove Builders, let's move on to build time. The U-Gears tram took me just over two hours to build, with the majority of that time being spent popping out all of my pieces, making sure they're smooth, and of course waxing them. I would also say that I spent a large amount of my time tinkering with the tram to get it to run really nicely on its track. And I feel like a lot of people at home are going to be doing that too. If you feel yourself getting frustrated, I would say put this build down and come back to it. You really do want to take your time with this, because once it's complete, it's a really nice build. And finally, Groove Builders, my thoughts. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I could pretty much do this all day. And that's the thing, I really don't know what it is. You know, I've had this build sitting here at the Groove Builders headquarters for almost an entire year. I've been looking at it, I've been wanting to build it because I really think that the whole moving wooden model thing is really cool. Um, but I, for whatever reason, I think maybe it's because it was a tram, I wasn't interested in building it. And then I finally said to myself that I wanted to build something a little bit different. We've been doing a lot of metal models here on the show. And I said, I'm going to build this U-Gears model. And I am so happy that I did. It was a lot of fun. Everything came together extremely easy. And you got to thank the instructions for that. But also, once everything is done and you've been tinkering with it for a bit, um, it's really fun to have around. I found this entire week since I've had it built. I've come in almost every single day and have had it go up and down. On its track. It's a great fiddler's piece and if you have someone at home that really does like to fiddle with things or tinker with things, I would say this is something to get them, especially with the holiday season just around the corner. I mean, this is a great gift for anyone out there who's really into building or an engineer. Uh, any kind of tinker out there would really enjoy this kind of build. If you're a beginner out there, I think there's something here for you too and if you take your time with this, you'll really enjoy it. All right, everyone, I think that brings us to the end of our show. I had a really good time building the U-Gears tram with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool builds just like this coming out in the future. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building. Now, to add one more to the wall. Just, again, where? <laughs>